bloody hell. I thought I was done for. And then you came blazing away. I owe you my life. I also owe the Rajid still. So I'm gonna need some of my winnings to pay them off. But this is yours. Fair is fair. Thanks again. Flubber's flatlined, and that fucking thing he was breathing too. Nice job. He was sending his ferals to take out all the other meat sellers. Who knows what else he's used them for? As you can see, my place has gone through a bit of a makeover while you were away. I tried irradiating the shit out of that meat, but it just became stringy as hell. No one in their right mind will ever eat it. But then I was playing around with frozen chunks and my electro knife. Came to me, Francone's frozen meat sculptures. I always wanted to be an artist. And as it turns out, my sculptures are flying off the shelves. I made one for you too, for a job well done. Here you go. Just make sure it doesn't thaw. something that will help line your pockets. Don't worry, it'll work on real Eucrids. <laughs>
all tough bastards to take out, huh? But you're still alive to tell the tale. You creds, well earned. All right, all right. Though it pains me to ask, you just might be able to help. I'm in the import-export business, you see. I buy and sell water. Luxury water. The very best. And only to the very best people. Well, perhaps buy isn't quite the right word. More like... Borrow? The water goes to the top. The very top. To the pinnacle, of course. Where my quite discerning clientele wants, dare I say, expects. Only the most extraordinary of water testing experiences. We seem to be running a bit low at the moment, however, so I was thinking. Perhaps you can make a trip for me? Replenish my stock? Wonderful! Now, I doubt you're rather blood taste buds in your, uh, <clears throat> quite barbaric sense of smell would scarcely be able to appreciate the final qualities of my water. So dubbed the elixir of the gods by my also discerning clientele. But the thing is, you don't need to taste the stuff, as it really is easy enough to identify. The water comes from a bathhouse, you see. Specifically the bathing pool where all the Carlins like to relax after work. We don't know what it is exactly, but there seems to be something about those Carlins just sitting there sweating away, detoxing as it were. And thus we get all that residue just floating around in the pool. That, mixed with the groundwater, the natural sediment, whatever else, gives us the elixir of the gods, or so they say. So all you have to do, my new friend, is simply head to the bathhouse to look for a bathing pool with an abnormally high concentration of coilers having a dip. Collect a sample from there and bring it on back. Easy enough? Thank you. 